Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I am Delilah and this is the Moon Pulls audio video podcast highlighting the last full moon of 2023, which is the full moon in Cancer. Don't be alarmed, Marv isn't going anywhere. I am simply assisting her with narration to give her voice a rest. I assure you she is still very much here and these are her words. If you are catching this by way of the Marvelous Enlightenment channel or Marv's main channel readings by Marvelous Madam Tarot. Welcome. If you're new here, every month the new and full moon of the corresponding month is highlighted in audio video format, which is timestamped for your listening and viewing pleasure. Without further ado, thanks for allowing me this intro and let's dive into this moon. The celestial stage is set for the final act of 2023, and it couldn't be more fitting than a full moon in the tender embrace of Cancer. Scheduled for its peak on December 26 at 7.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, this lunar event promises an emotional tidal wave, compelling us to delve deep into the waters of sentimentality. As the full moon illuminates the night sky, it signals a phase of completion and emotional fulfillment. The sun and moon stand in opposition, pulling at the tides of both the ocean and our internal waters, ushering in a surge of feelings. This lunar magic invites us to explore the depths of our emotions, urging us to confront and process what lies beneath the surface. Cancer, a cardinal water sign, amplifies the emotional resonance of this lunation. Its essence is deeply rooted in the realms of home, family, and ancestral ties. To fully harness the energy of this full moon, reflect on the new moon in Cancer that graced us on July 17, 2023. Consider the themes of home, nourishment, and the intricate tapestry of your familial history. The Cancerian energy is elusive, intuitive, and rich with emotional charge. This lunation encourages you to find authenticity and safety within your heart space. Let the waves of emotions resurface, contributing to your spiritual healing. The Cancer Capricorn axis, governing roots and structures, asks you to examine your connection to home and family, urging you to find solace and authenticity in your emotional journey. This full moon forms a harmonious sextile to Jupiter retrograde in Taurus, presenting an opportunity to honor and celebrate your emotional growth. Trust your feelings as they may reveal new perspectives and illuminate the path forward. Patterns from your past, especially family dynamics, are likely to resurface, supported by the reassuring energies of Jupiter, Saturn, and the Sun. Saturn, the taskmaster, trainees the moon and forms a sextile to Jupiter retrograde in the Sun. This cosmic dance brings attention to the stability, responsibility, and reality of your personal journey. It's a moment to reflect on commitment, values, and traditions, with a chance to recalibrate and ground yourself in emotional reality. However, the cosmic ballet isn't without its challenges. Mercury retrograde conjuncts Mars in Sagittarius, stirring the waters of potential delays, misunderstandings, and irritability. Mindfulness and communication becomes paramount as the power of honest expression could be a double-edged sword. In conclusion, the full moon in Cancer on December 26, 2023, invites you to navigate the waters of your emotions, celebrating growth, acknowledging the past, and finding strength and authenticity. As the celestial bodies align, trust the process, and let the moonlight guide you through the labyrinth of feelings, ultimately leading to a profound sense of self-discovery and emotional fulfillment. Okay, guys, we are now ready for the all signs portion of this audio video podcast. Please note that you should approach these from a rising and sun sign perspective for the most accuracy. Remember, with new moons, we affirm and with full moons, we reflect. And without further ado, we will begin with the full moon and cancer horoscope reflections. Aries, embrace the warmth of familial connections as the full moon and cancer graces your fourth house. Dive into the currents of home, family dynamics, and emotional foundations. This lunation may trigger a surge of feelings, prompting a personal revelation. Amidst potential conflicts, reflect on releasing fears and embracing your commitment to family values. Taurus. Engage in heartfelt conversations, Taurus, as the full moon illuminates your third house of siblings, neighbors, and local community. Your perceptions may shift, and you'll find yourself vocalizing changes in familiar relationships. Tread carefully around conflicting beliefs, mindful of triggering topics. Reflect on how your evolving belief systems align with your inner circle. Gemini, find stability amid emotional waves as the full moon charges up your second house of finances and values. Aligning with Jupiter, this lunar event offers spiritual fulfillment and growth in authority or parent-child relationships. 
Watch communication in partnerships with Mercury retrograde and Mars nearby. Reflect on the evolution of your authority and personal values. Cancer, happy full moon, Cancer. Illuminating your first house of self and embrace your journey from past to future fulfillment. Themes of home, family, and forgiveness are highlighted, offering healing and self-discovery. Celebrate your progress and newfound comfort and reflect on aligning your past narratives with your evolving self. Leo, grant yourself grace, Leo, as the full moon stirs repressed emotions in your 12th house of surrender. Confront avoidance patterns and explore your coping mechanisms. Mercury retrograde in Mars may intensify sensitivity around parental and reputation themes. Reflect on the concept of forgiveness and embrace your evolving authority. Virgo, fulfilling connections await as the full moon lights up your 11th house of associations and community. Gather with loved ones, Virgo, and celebrate personal growth. Jupiter's influence brings evolution in family values and security. Acknowledge your commitment to boundaries and relationships and reflect on patting yourself on the back for growth. Libra, Explore authority dynamics as the full moon charges your 10th house of career and legacy. Parental figures take prominence, prompting reflection on tradition value transformations. Delve into discerning financial and career decisions, considering sacrifices for your health. Reflect on new traditions and your evolving role as an authority figure. Scorpio, feel secure in your future as the full moon highlights your ninth house of wisdom and belief systems. Transforming family relationships aligns with profound shifts in your perspectives. Nurture your inner child and discover truths about home and family life. Reflect on embracing the clarity and emphasis on personal growth, Sagittarius. Experience emotional intensity in your eighth house of intimacy and transformation under the cathartic full moon. Logistics around home and family unveil priorities, urging recognition of boundaries and hard work. Reflect on staying true to yourself, acknowledging deep emotions, and sharing with a significant other. Capricorn. Commitments take center stage with the full moon gracing your seventh house of agreements. Address celebrations, passion projects, or desires to conceive with family. Seek support, set boundaries, and avoid unintentional revelations. Reflect on changes in personal relationships and ease in expressing authentic needs. Aquarius. Navigate potential career changes or relocations as the full moon illuminates your sixth house of daily rituals and well-being. Reflect on aligning commitments with security and values. Care for family elders and maintain balance in personal and professional life. Reflect on ensuring emotional nourishment in your routine. Pisces. Celebrate love and gratitude as the full moon activates your fifth house of self-expression and passion projects. Open your heart and embrace newfound wisdom. Align your values with self-expression and projects. Reflect on incorporating acquired values into creative endeavors and recognizing aspects coming full circle in your heart space. Thank you guys for listening, and I want to wish you guys happy holidays. And when the screen changes, we will go into the video portion of the podcast. Hello, guys, and let's get right into it. We are going to, of course, open with the power wish. As I say all the time, if you're interested in um, purchasing the book and following along, you definitely can do that. That link is below. We're going to get right into the power wish for the Cancer Full Moon. I will go ahead and read a couple of passages and then we will get into the moon pools. I hope you did not mind um, my AI voice, Delilah. I am going to be using a lot of um, AI inspired type tools moving forward. Um, still my voice, um, a little bit of a clone, but I do like her voice better <laughs> and it does help me out. So um, my other platforms are already familiar with that voice. I just hadn't quite introduced her. So um, I hope that that was OK. Still my words, as she said, and I wanted to give her a name. So. She is Delilah. Okay, let's put the pie right back. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Cancer full moon power wish. The themes and keywords are the same of those for the new moon. Additionally, a full moon will help you release the following. So we're going to focus on worrying, meddling, micromanaging, emotional ups, downs, and being hypersensitive or fearful, fearful. Troubles or worries about chest or breasts. We also have, this is two examples that are likely to come true with a cancer full moon. I found my ideal condo in Chelsea, 
the neighborhood of my dreams. I can't believe I get to live there. Thank you so much. Because as you guys know, in a full moon, we show gratitude. Okay. The second um, example is the days of being wrapped up in my emotions are long past. It's amazing that I can just hit the reset button and feel better in the day. Thank you so much. Some of the um, areas that you can go ahead and do your releasing um, and with this particular method that we've been talking about basically all this year has been focused on paying gratitude or being grateful. So as far as romantic relationships and partnerships are concerned, my son has given me his blessing to marry Frankie. I am so glad he'll have a new dad. Thank you so much. Current finances. As I see the employees I've trained work and succeed, working and succeeding, I feel blessed to be a coach. I am so happy to have this job. Thank you so much. We move into finances. Let me straighten that up. I am delightfully surprised that the hobby of bacon is bringing in, in unexpected income. Heartfelt gratitude to my customers. Thank you so much. As far as habits, since I started going to cooking school, I'm more aware of what I eat. It helps me stay healthy. A big plus. Thank you so much. Personality. My habit of taking out my anger on my children is gone. I no, I no longer lapse into self-hatred and I feel peaceful every day. Thank you so much. We move into health and beauty. Since I started setting the table and eating mindfully, I am no longer I am no longer eating more than I need. I feel joy in my daily life and my emotions have earned out have even out dramatically. I can't even see. Thank you so much. And we're going to move on to miscellaneous and we have my friend introduced me to the perfect roommate. He is so fun and optimistic. I feel comfortable around him. Like we're best friends our whole life. He's also a great cook. I am so grateful for, his, for, this, for this miraculous encounter. Thank you so much. All right, that is some examples, guys, of how you can harness the energy of this full moon if you so wish to, okay? Now we're going to get into the moon pools, the pools portion of this podcast and I'm going to go ahead and pull a card for each one of you each sign everything will be time stamps uh oh that wanted to come around for someone and this is for Aries this is for Aries Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to pull. Give me a second. Yeah, I'm just going to have to pull, guys. Give me. Just let me do a couple more of these. This is how we're going to have to do it. Okay. Aries, sun and rising. You have Phoenix 25. Be prepared to, to be renewed after a period of crisis. This is for Aries. Okay. We move on to Taurus. Sun and rising. Unity in the energy of 34. A time of divine understanding. Renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. Congratulations on that. We move on to Gemini. We have goals and the energy of 13. Progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. Beautiful energy. We move on to cancer. Star and the energy of 29. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. Congratulations, cancer. This is your full moon. I love it. Leo, it's suns and rising. In the energy of 36, we have the world. Be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. Virgo, suns and risings. In the energy of 15, we have key. New beginnings, directions, and adventures await for those who are ready to let go of the past. I love it. Libra, suns and risings. Cracker in the energy of seven. 
Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune awaits. I love that. Scorpio, sun, and risings. In the energy of 16, we have the card of lion. Harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion. Lion and charge ahead magnificently. We move on to Sagittarius, suns, and risings. In the energy of 11, we have the card of flowers. Be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are, are yours. We move on to Capricorn, sun, and risings. In the energy of one, you have abundance. Congratulations, Cap. Lucky times are ahead for you along with good news, success, and prosperity. We move on to Aquarius, sun, and rising. In the energy of 22, you do have the card of mountain. Know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. And last but not least, we move on to Pisces and Pisces rising. In the energy of 12, we have the card of fool. Have the courage to embrace change. Take risk and be adventurous. This is going to conclude our last full moon of the year. Everything that you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. Thank you so much, guys, for rocking with me. It's been a, um, a, a very blessed year. Happy New Year to you all. The next video you will see from me will be in the energy of the new year for your weekly readings. Everything, again, you need is below in the description box. Happy holidays, and I'll see you next year. Bye, guys.